trick or treat, those three words can strike fear into even the most frugal of us all, but how can you keep from spending too much during the holiday season? Here with a few tips is Sherry Lowe, the queen of free. Sherry, good to have you back. Again, uh, there's so many options when it comes to figuring out what you want to do around Hall Halloween. What, do you, what is your advice this time around? Well, you know, every kid loves that neighbor that hands out the full size or even king size candy bars, but we all can't afford to do that. And so I have some great ideas on queenoffree.net today to help you save money specifically on candy during the next couple of weeks some creative ideas to keep your budget from turning a spooky shade of red during the Halloween season. And the first one is you might want to think about skipping the candy altogether. And this is a great idea, especially with as many people have allergies and, you know, the obesity um, sort of epidemic that we have right now. So looking for things like pencils and stickers and small toys. I have a couple of places where you can link out and to order those items. Find things maybe that are not even Halloween themed so you can use them all year long whether they go into stockings or Easter baskets later on in the year. But maybe just skipping the candy altogether might be a great way to save a little bit of money. Okay so that's the number one suggestion you have. Next on the list was drive through treats. How does that work? So a couple of restaurants have these coupon booklets that are out this time of the year. They're seasonal coupon booklets, typically good for one item off of the menu. They come in a pack of 10 to 12, and they're only a dollar. And so they're worth much, much more than that because you, those items would individually be a dollar typically. And you could use those to give away. Um, you want to call your specific, usually McDonald's or Wendy's, because not all locations carry them every time. So okay. you want to call ahead and make sure before you head there to purchase those that they do indeed have them. Okay. Another tried and true uh, pursuit is going generic, right? Right. So I'm not saying you have to buy a Smickers bar or anything like that. You don't have to go generic in a sense of um, buying something that is less than quality. However, the wrapped candy that is even name brand but not seasonally wrapped can oftentimes be much more affordable than the Halloween specialty candy. And again, you can use it throughout the year, whether or not you use that at you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas too, without it having that orange and black wrapper on it. Okay, and the final item is cash in your candy. How does that work? So this is for those parents that get way too much candy at, during the trick or treat season and you bring it home. You can certainly freeze some of it if you need to. However, you can also check with local dentists to see if they're having a buy buyback program okay. where you bring the candy in and the child might get some sort of reward or treat instead of eating all that candy. Typically it's donated to soldiers overseas all right. and so it's a double win. That's terrific. All right, Sherry Lowe, thanks again. And uh, as always, Sherry's money-saving tips can be found in her online blog. Look for the link on the Hot Topics section of WTHR.com.